Brief DVMs coming at you an update on basically the chicken coop and kind of the garden area. I know you guys a few videos back watched us as we, you know, put in a chicken coop, put in a barn lean for the cattle. Fantastic devices. Well, now right behind them, we're putting in a new fence around the garden and it's going to enclose a new area, which is eventually going to house a greenhouse. And it's going to be a removable fence for tilling the garden. And I'm doing this um, through Premier One. Number one, because as you've seen in all my other videos, I really like Intelli rope. Um, Intelli rope is just a fantastic thicker rope um, that can be used for cattle and horses very safely. And I really like it for the garden too. So I want to use that, but I want to make it in a removable situation for the garden. So I'm taking the wood post to the garden. I'm putting on these neat brackets that they make. Um, they just go on with a couple screws. And they hold these big rolls of Intelli rope that you can have preloaded when you buy them. And then we're going to go around the garden and clip them on the other side. And what's going to be nice about that, as you can see, my daughter here is putting on the caps and the insulators. What's nice is come fall, I can just unhook this, take it off the insulators, roll it right back up, and store it away. So I've got three of these rolls because I'm doing three strands of wire. Now you certainly could use one and loop it back and forth a couple different times. But I decided I just want to do three, so I bought three rolls and three hangers for wood. These rolls are kind of neat. Um, they come with their own braking system and kind of their own little clutch system in them. And they make it so much easier to wind up the wire uh, and deal with it when you want to take it down. So obviously it's a very portable solution for, for multiple different facets of farming. But in our case, it's going to make it so we can bring the tractors in and till the garden. The other thing with it is, is this allows me to widen it um, as needed for when the greenhouse comes in. And of course, um, it's going to make the area more secure. So what I've done here is I've got these pre-loaded rolls of Intelli rope from Premier One. And they're on their patented little, you know, roller things here. And then I'm putting on a spring-loaded um, uh, fence spring. Um, and then a big, basically, yellow rubber main handle made for fencers. Once I get this all together, I'm going to string each one of these around the garden, hook them to the post on the other side, and then just tighten up the reel and it'll pull them tight. And then I just have a little clip that, that um, goes over and makes each strand hot, and we're pulling it off one of our other big fences. So since it's just a, a temporary deal in the summertime each year, we don't keep this garden fence up all the time. Now maybe we'll change that with the greenhouse. I don't know. We'll see. But I do like the ability to take it down and be able to work in the garden. Very simple install. I think the brackets took me 20 minutes to put in. Throwing up the rolls took me maybe another three to five minutes. Hooking up the gate ends took me about a half hour. My daughter, uh, Anna, going around putting insulators and caps on the T-posts um, that are already there probably took her maybe 30 minutes. So in all in all, we were done in just a couple hours, which is a nice way of doing it. So we're all set up here to start pulling out the wire. I just kind of want to show you the reel a little bit. There's a nice break on one side which holds it in place, um, locks it in position. And the other side there's a spinny break that keeps it from over spinning. And I do like that. Um, the plastic on this stuff looks great. It's UV resistant. Like I said, the brackets are good. And this is the Intelli rope. I'm just going to have Anna start taking it out. She's going to start putting it on her insulators here. I mean, it's so easy that, you know, anybody can really do this. It's, it's not that hard. Probably the only labor-intense part would be getting T-posts in the ground. And again, with a decent T-post hammer, um, that's not difficult at all either. So she's just going to string this up. We're going to pull it tight, hook a couple clips to it, and it'll be hot in no time. So this is one thing that we're doing. The other thing that we're doing is the back of the chicken coop um, has an exit door for the chickens. And we've made it so that we can open it from the dog cage inside. So all we got to do is walk in the door and pull a rod and it lifts the little door in back and shut the rod and it shuts the door in back. But there's nowhere really for the chickens to go. They can run all over the farm and what we're finding is predators seem to like to take them out. So we went to Premier One and we bought some Permanet. Um, this particular Permanet is really strong stuff and it's electrified, which is nice because I'm trying to keep the chickens in more of a contained area, number one. But number two, I want to keep the troublemakers out. So I bought it with the fiberglass posts and everything included. It's pretty easily assembled. It's got these nice little hooks and clips and kind of like a, a backup spare pack that comes with it, which is kind of nice. The The bottom strand in black is not hot. 
everything else is hot all the way up to the top. And then I bought one of these um, gates. Uh, this is this is the actual gate that you can put with this setup. So you buy the perma fence, and then you buy a gate, and then they hook together um, electrically with just a clip. And I put it up. And I mean, when I say I put it up, I probably had this up in 15 minutes. All you do is unroll it, stick the little stakes in the ground, and I use some fiberglass um, poles to add in on the corners for some additional strength. And literally hook hook the hot wire to it. it it's 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 simple. I'm I'm impressed. The chickens don't seem to mind here. I've got some of our younger ones here out kind of wanting to get back into the coop, but here it is. I, I know the ground is all rooted up and stuff, but um, in a few months it turns nice and green. And like I said, I've got some additional fiberglass poles driven in there just to make sure it can withstand the winter snows. But I appreciate you watching, folks. This is the update on the on the chicken coop area, and I'll put out more videos here in the future as the new greenhouse goes up. Thanks for watching. Please like or subscribe and support the channel.